Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 54. But before moving to the problem statement, I have a request to all my viewers that if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that you can get uh, all my future video updates. And another thing is that uh, if you want to really support my channel, then please uh, please go to the uh, super thanks section and you can contribute over there. Now let's come to the problem statement. This problem statement has been asked in Walmart interview question. So what does it say? It says that write a SQL query to find the top three products that are most frequently bought together. That purchase, this purchase has been done in the same transaction. Output the name of the product number one and the product number two and the number of combinations in the descending order. So this is the problem statement and for this problem statement we have been given two tables. The first table is the transaction table wherein we have the transaction ID, product ID, user ID and the transaction date. The second table is product ID, uh, sorry product, uh, pro product table wherein we have product ID column and product name column. If you see the uh, transaction table, we uh, uh, if you observe for uh, transaction row number one and two, we have the same transaction and you can see uh, uh, same users but different product ID has been sold. So first is triple two which corresponds to soya milk and the second one is uh, product ID triple four that corresponds to banana. So this for this transaction. App, uh, apple and banana has been sold if you consider this thing uh, row number five six and seven this three transaction has been done by same user that is two three four and what what are the product which has been sold it is triple one triple four and triple two that is apple banana and uh, and soya milk so what what is what the what is the product sold apple and soya milk and apple and banana and soya milk and banana so these three combinations are sold so in this way we have to find all the possible combination and we have to give the output as shown below that is product one and product two and number of that combination has been sold so we in the output it should come as the uh, means top three you have to give, give the top three products that are most frequently sold together in one transaction so this is all about the problem statement. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. Before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So let me fire these two table, these two SQL query that is select star from transaction underscore Walmart and select star from product underscore Walmart. So these two are input tables. So you can see well these are the two tables. Now first. I will try to join these two table and I will try to get all the information in one table. Currently product name is in different table and all other information are is in other table. So for that let me create first a CTE with CTE underscore let's say product product as we'll open the bracket and then select star from this first table and we'll give alias as tw and then i'm going to join this table with product walmart and we'll give alias as pw and i'm going to join on condition tw dot so we have which field we have common this product id is common so we are going to join on the product id column tw dot product underscore id is equal to pw dot product id now what are the fields we need so we, I'm going to replace this star with the field name. So we need from this table, TW table, that is transaction Walmart. I need, I need transaction ID. So transaction, uh, transaction, S 
a c t i o n transaction underscore id comma and then we need product id so t w dot product underscore id sorry here it will be comma and then we need user id as t w dot user let's say users underscore id and we need product name so this is from a product walmart table so i'm going to use this alias dot product underscore name so let me see what result i'm getting from this query so let me do select star from ct underscore product table let me run this piece of code so here you go we got all the desired uh, the information or the columns in uh, from both the table we got it into one table that is transaction id product id user id and the product name now let's see what i'm going to do so in the second step i'm going to create another cte and i will give name as ct underscore let's say product underscore combo as open the bracket as and here i am going to do self join with this table select star from this table ct underscore product as uh, let's say as a and inner join same table and give alias as b and i'm going to join on the column transaction id so on a dot transaction id is equal to b dot transaction id and we have to give another condition over here and a dot product name a dot product name is less than b dot product name and then i am going to group by these two columns a dot product name comma and b dot product name now what are the fields we need to display a dot product name and b dot product name so i'm going to copy it and We'll replace this a star with these two column names and here for first i'll give name as product uh, what are the fields you have to display product one and this one we have to display as product two and we have to display count one as will give combo sum let's say combo underscore sum now let me close this bracket and let me see what value we are getting select star from this ct let me run this piece of code now you can see that we have four results in the output so we have apple and banana combination and this has came two times banana and soya milk came two times and apple and soya milk came one time and insta oatmeal and soya milk came one time so 
but we have to display those products whose combo sum is more right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to order by combo sum in the descending order and and we will display product 1 comma product 2 and we have to display top 3 products so top 3 product 1 product 2 from ct underscore product combo order by combo sum so what will happen the maximum value will go on the top and we are going to take top 3 so if i run this full piece of code here you go so you got the answer but we do not have combo sum here so we'll add this as a part of the output table and you can check it now let me run once again sorry i selected all our input table so here you go this is our expected output table so that's all for this video if you have really liked my this problem and the solution please do give give thumbs up and if you really uh, support want to support my channel please go to the super thanks section and please do contribute to my channel thank you and thanks for watching